For more than 55 years, Village Baptist Church has had one purpose, to spread the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ to all people. Right here on this sacred property, some of the greatest men in their day have preached the gospel within these walls. Thousands of people have accepted Christ through the work of this church. And countless numbers have been baptized. This is the legacy of Village Baptist Church. When I was about 11 years old, my family and I went on a vacation and we stopped at the cafeteria to eat lunch. We went inside and behind the counter of the cafeteria on the wall was a, a board with the specials of the day. And my folks told me to order one of the specials off the board. And I looked at them and I said, what board? And it was then we discovered that I was severely nearsighted. Having good vision is very important because without it, you can't see to drive a car, can't read signs, you can't see very far down the road. Here at Village Baptist Church, we have a new and fresh vision. The vision is this, leading people to be consumed by the love of Christ. Now, in order to do that, we have to renew our own relationship with Jesus as well. And when that happens, we then become the kind of people that share the love of Christ to others and will be willing to give our lives for others as Jesus gave His life for us. The members of Village Baptist Church are seeking to be just that. We're involved in the local community as well as missions all over the world. We want Village Baptist Church to be a place used by God, not only now, but for generations to come, to be a blessing for those who are children now, but eventually will be leaders in the church. A lot of time has passed since the first buildings were built here at Village Baptist Church. And like everything else, they now need extensive repair, remodel, and renewal. And this is going to take a lot of work. It's going to take time, it's going to take effort, and it'll take quite a bit of an expense. But it's worth it so that these properties can be useful for generations to come. Most recently, our heating and air conditioning went out in the main worship center. We began asking for extra help to replace those old units and to reconfigure how the new will work in place of the old. Over the years, the foundation has settled causing cracks and gaps in the bricks and mortar throughout the facility. It has also caused places in the flooring to become unleveled, causing potential tripping hazards for our members. This movement has even severed a couple of bolts located in two of our large support beams in the gym and caused water drainage problems flooding several rooms around the facility. These issues will only become worse the longer they go unchecked. The kitchen, which is used to feed nearly 75 people each week, needs to be updated and brought up to code. It's been more than 20 years since the last partial remodel. The gym ceiling is also a concern. We have experienced shifting in those tiles, causing them to loosen and potentially fall. The tiles weigh more than 200 pounds each and while proper measures have been taken to secure them temporarily, they need to be repaired permanently for future safety concerns. The outside of the church needs cosmetic work, especially the front columns. The cracks that are visible in the columns have been repaired over and over again. It's time to replace these columns, as well as painting and facade repair. Each of these things while alone are not major, put together, they are very significant, and if not addressed, could hinder and even cripple our church's ministry. As you can see, we're not talking about building anything new. What we're talking about is taking what we already have and renewing it for generations to come. So I'm asking you today to pray and to consider what your part is going to be in this wonderful campaign. The campaign's called Renew for Generations to Come. And the scripture verse is Psalm 77, 14, which says, You are the God who performs miracles. 
you display your power among the peoples. This is your opportunity to join with us here at Village Baptist in this campaign to see how God may work a miracle through you. The commitment we're asking you to make is for three years beginning October 11th, 2015. We're asking you to make a faith commitment to God above your regular tithes and offerings. Now with this kind of financial commitment, you may be asking yourself, how can I do this? Well, if it were just up to you, that is a really good question. But it's not your resources that I'm asking you to look at. I'm asking you to look at the resources of the God who performs miracles. This is not only an opportunity for us to renew the property here at Village. This is an opportunity for you to renew your faith, to stretch your faith, and to grow your faith, and your faith to become even stronger. So I invite you to come and join us here on Commitment Sunday, October 11th, 2015. We'll be one church in one service united together for this one great purpose. God honors and God rewards those who get into the game, but He does not reward those who stay on the sideline. Yes, there are trials. Yes, there may be blood and sweat and tears, but isn't anything that's worth accomplishing worth taking the effort? Join us and be a part of this. And I promise you, if all of us pull together, we're going to see the God who performs miracles perform a miracle in this campaign.